designandmake.com. Vectric is excited to have just released version 11.5 of their VCarve Desktop, Pro, and Aspire software packages. A few of the updates they've introduced will directly impact the way you use your design and make clipart. They have done a lot of work behind the scenes to make better use of the 3D graphics capabilities of your PC or laptop. These will be most obvious in the 3D view while you work with your 3D content. The new live composition will make using your design and make clip art easier and more fun, allowing you to interactively and intuitively adjust any piece of content while still viewing the entire composite layout. Let's have a quick look and see how these new updates will help us to create a custom layout for the top of the Explorer frame that is part of the version 11.5 Sundial project. Let's not forget, even though I'll be using vCarve Desktop, these feature updates are available in vCarve Pro and Aspire. If you're a V11 customer, this is a free upgrade. All you need to do is to log into your VNCO account and download the version 11.5 installer for your software. So here we have the top of the Explorer frame. And if we go ahead and take a look at our modeling tab, you'll see that we all have all of our content still turned on. Now to make this a little bit easier to edit and visually more appealing for me so I can see all the content a little bit clearer, we're going to go ahead and change the material properties of this particular sheet. So let's go to our Sheets tab, make sure our frame sheet is highlighted, and we're going to go ahead and click on Edit. Down here at the bottom under Material Settings, we can just go ahead and change that to be Oak Soft. And then we can just click OK. Let's go back to our modeling tab for a moment. And the only thing we want to see out of this list of components is just our zero plane. So let's right click on that. And we're going to go down to show only this. Perfect. Now this is a clipping level. And you'll see that in our 2D view, we've clipped these to these particular vectors right here, this top part here and these two windows right there. So any content that we put in those areas, we're only going to actually see the bits that appear within those vectors. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to our Clipart tab, and we're going to go down to our Around the World number one project, which you have already installed here. And we're going to grab this eagle right here, and we'll double click on him. He'll pop right into our job. We can just select that, and then we can move him up to where we want him to be. And then we can size him down to fit in that area. We want to see most of him, most of his body anyway. We're not too worried about his wings because you get the idea of what, what he is. That looks pretty nice right there. Now, of course, we're going to need some clouds. So let's go all the way down to the bottom here to our wildlife scenes uh, deep in the wild. And we're going to grab these clouds right here and we'll double click on those. Now here we're going to see our first new update to the 3D view is when I go ahead and grab these clouds and I drag them into my scene, you'll see that everything is viewed in my composite layout, including me moving around those clouds. And that's a pretty amazing update. So let's go ahead and drop that there. And then I can hold down my control key and I can drag a copy of that over here. So now I have two clouds and there we have it. That looks pretty good. The last, the next thing I want to do is put in the full moon. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in over to the right here at the top, and we'll size it down into place. It looks pretty good right there. Now I'd like to have happen is these clouds actually go over top of the moon just a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up on this edge just a little bit, go ahead and select the clouds, and you'll see that in the corner here I have this new handle. If I pull up this little arrow at the top, I'm going to end up changing the shape height of my particular component. If I go ahead and grab the square on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and change the base height. So what I want to do is I want to give it a little bit of base height and a little bit more shape height. I think that looks pretty good. And it gives you a nice contrast. It makes it look like this cloud is in front of that cloud back there. And that looks pretty nice. Now we can go ahead and bring in our dead tree. We're going to put it over here in the corner just to kind of give us a little bit more sort of interest in the corner over here. Now that's come in, but it's right in the middle here. So if I go back to my 3D view, my 2D view, I can drag it over. I'm going to delete out the second one that I brought in by mistake. And you see there it is right there in my 3D view. 
And now another great feature here is I can go ahead and bring up my floating properties dialog box. And what I want to do is I just want to actually go ahead and tilt this just slightly. So if I go ahead and select tilt, I'm going to set my two anchor points, one over here and one over there. And then if I go ahead and use my drop down here with my slider, as I slide this up and down, you'll see that in my 3D view, my tree is actually tilting. So it looks pretty good right there. We'll close that down. Now let's just go ahead and build in the bottom part of this top of our Explorer frame. So let's just go ahead now and regenerate the tooling for this so we can see another one of the great features of version 11.5. First of all, let's go to our tool paths tab, pin that down. Let's make sure we, make, we set our model position or our composite model position properly inside of our material. We can just click OK. And it's going to go ahead and tell us to recalculate all of our tool paths. Let's go ahead and redo that. Let's just go ahead now and preview our tool paths. And you'll see now in our 3D view, we can go ahead and twiddle the camera or twiddle our view while the tooling is being previewed. So we can go ahead and identify any problems that might occur during the cutting of this project. And there we have it. I hope that that helped you to see the benefits of the new live competition features of version 11.5 of VCarve Pro, Desktop, and Aspire. It makes using your Design and Make clip art a much more fun and intuitive experience. I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. Designandmake.com